guys welcome back to the core puzzle i hope you all are doing well today's video is gonna be about front yard landscaping ideas for 10 ways to inject curb appeal so let's get right into the video front yard landscaping ideas have evolved from cookie cutter turfed lawns to well-planned layouts that are pleasing to look at in urban and suburban areas, homeowners are redesigning those plots in front to create privacy with low walls or native plants, a sunny spots to grow herbs, flowers and vegetables, and to gain extra living space by building patios or decks. While some homeowners will never give up their traditional loans, many are open to using fewer chemicals and selecting grasses that work with the region and climate. For years, many horticulturists and gardening professionals have been trying to get the message across. Grow plants that attract benthical insects and pollinators to create a natural habitat. Go easy on pesticides or find natural alternatives. Use less water. Save the bees. Let predators like ladybugs take care of aphids and other leaf monsters. So if you're starting to realize it's time to rethink your front lawn, at least you're agreeable to considering some new landscaping ideas. Reconfiguring your front yard to grow fresh food, promote wildlife, or for a better environment are great reasons. But perhaps you just want that dull space to look better and boost its curb appeal. Originally, the curb appeal concept entailed painting your house, making repairs, and landscaping your front yard to attract possible home buyers and to hopefully make your neighbors happy. Now, attractive front yard landscaping ideas shouldn't only reflect the architectural design of a house, they should also be a reflection of those who live inside. They can be formal, artistic, earthy, fun, or anything, really. A word of advice, however, consider hiring a reputable landscape or garden designer to ensure you achieve the best results. 14 Unique Front Yard Landscaping Ideas to Transform Your Outdoor Space From rethinking water guzzling front loons to adding room for socializing and growing vegetables, these front yard landscaping ideas will inspire you to create an inviting new look. Create a Mediterranean escape in the city. With high rises looming just a blocks away, a small 1920s Mediterranean home in Los Angeles, Carthay Circle neighborhood received a colorful oasis-like front yard redesign from Beth Edelstein landscape design of Santa Monica. Beth chose growth tolerant plants and succulents for year-round into rest and ease of maintenance. The growth season for the dinner plate daisy lachyonium sunburst is winter and these succulents' vibrant faces follow the sun. Other plants used include blue shark sticks, which spreads and forms dense mats. Agraria salvia, the spiky succulent spoon yucca and octopus agave, chartreous Mexican spurge and evergreen martin spurge, dwarf butterfly bush, and the semi-dwarf mired lemon tree. Naturalistic hardscape incorporated into the design reflects the colors of stucco house and foliage and includes boulders, gravel, a slightly winding garden path to red Arizona flagstone set in decomposed granite, and forest floor mulch contained with bender board. The designer continued the landscape to the area between the sidewalk and street, variously called parking strips, tree belts, verges, skirts, buffers, curb strips, and hill strips, with a wide swath of cenothus, English lavender, and Russian sage, along with the red flagstone. Carve out privacy on a small lot. The owners of this new two-story home, located on a corner in an urban neighborhood of Portland, Oregon, desired privacy, safety, and attractive yard, and an area in front in which they could chat with neighbors. Donna Jagger landscape design was up for many challenges. In the tiny front yard, which was formerly unusable, we created a sitting area and a sense of enclosure 
through fencing and plantings, says Jigger. The design intent was to add color, drought, and heat tolerance, and to attract birds, bees, and butterflies. The designer's solution was to build a modern slab patio that serves as a front porch with a fence surrounding the front and side yards for a sense of enclosure, and to support climbing plants like passion flower and fragrant star jasmine vine. Jaguar kept plants slow growing to not to interrupt the view through windows from inside the house. The designer chose lime hued plants to coordinate with the front door, including lemon fizz lavender cotton, lemon beauty, lemon lime, angelina. Everything was given a boost with soil amendments that including organic mycorrhiza fungi. Bring a front yard to life with succulents. A 1950s tract home in the Los Angeles suburb of Montebello, California went from modest to magnificent thanks to some carefully considered front yard landscaping ideas and the addition of tropical plants. Michael Romeo of succulent designs trained in the gardens at the world famous Huntington Library, Art Museum and Botanical Gardens near Pasadena before going into business with his wife Danielle. Proving that thirsty and fussy loan ideas aren't necessary for front or backyard landscaping ideas in drought stricken California, Romeo gave this formerly weedy yard lots of color that doesn't rely on regular water. Mounds of electric pink trailing ice plant are the traffic stoppers at the front of the landscape. Other carefully chosen water-wise plants include the bright green succulent Boschinesio, Ashy green Cleveland sage, the red and the gold pencil tree, foxtail agave, and the Palo Verde tree, which will tolerate poor soil and extremes in climate. Romero installed in line drip irrigation to make the garden even easier to maintain. The house is painted an earthy tube, which is the perfect backdrop for such a vibrant garden. Make it family friendly. A young outdoorsy family that moved to the Brentwood section of Austin, Texas, enlisted the services of native age landscape to create livable spaces in the front and backyards of their own new home. A compacted red DG entry walkway is flanked by zoysia grass. Trees include Texas persimmon and Mexican palo verde. In addition to their beauty, plants were selected for low maintenance, minimal water use, and the kid and pet friendliness. Sitting gravel at the edge of the property are natives and several types of ornamental grass that include blue fescue, Mexican feather grass, purple fountain grass, and pink gulf moly. Plants were spaced to allow room to grow without overcrowding. A gate and fenced private area in front is made of long-lasting cedar, which is used in a horizontal orientation for fencing and gates throughout the property. Using the same cedar for their backyard ideas for a play set and private shower area help us to visually connect the two spaces. Add a front deck. The backyard of this one-story ranch-style house located in California's Central Valley lacked any workable outdoor living spaces, so the homeowners asked the Sacramento-based firm of Lucello Design to incorporate some decking ideas at the front of the property instead. With a fresh start and amended clay soil, Lucello used a mix of grey fescue, shrubby, dark green germander, strabby New Zealand flax, and two kinds of flax lilies, variegata, cool vista, Underneath is soft brown dark moss. A patch of turf was planted for kids to play on. Concrete paths were poured to flow logically from the street and driveway to the front door, while leaving room for outdoor seating on the front deck. A wood bench and horizontal slat fences at various heights create privacy for the deck along with consistency in hardscape materials. Go green to create a lush entry. One of the oldest neighborhoods in Houston, Texas, the highest boasts a charming mix of Victorians, bungalows, and brick cottages. 
The owners of a cottage tasked David Morello Garden Enterprises with a remodel that would make them feel more at home. In just three months, DMGE transformed the outdoor spaces, making the inviting front yard lush and green with plants that softened the entrance. Morello and team founded a challenge to design a year-round garden with low-maintenance plants that would be able to withstand hosting summers, which are hot, humid, and can be oppressive. Meeting the requirements were red bud trees like Circe's Occidental Zvar, Japanese yew, Japanese boxwood hedges, sunshine lagustrum, with year-round golden foliage, and cardamom leaf ginger, the vivid green loon. Other hosting-tolerant choices include wood furnace and foxtail furnace, lily turf, irises, and dwarf yapon holly, Three Turkota garden planters change it out with annual provide seasonal color. Working with a budget, DMGE used field stone set in mortar for the front landing, while black star gravel was used on the concrete driveway and service areas. Planting beds are delineated with brown steel metal garden edging ideas, which help to contain the soil, mulch, and plants. Emphasize color to complement the home's exterior. Growing tired of increasing water bills, not to mention the weed-infested loan, the homeowners of this beach area home in Santa Barbara, California, asked the landscape architect Billy Goodnick to work his special magic and create a water-tolerant garden. Goodnick got to work reconfiguring the existing flagstone bathing ideas to create a unique front pathway that gives the space some instant personality. Because the homeowners love color, Goodnick planted New Zealand flags along the front of the house for their deep mahogany color and strong vertical form. A white picket fence is a smart addition across the front of the plot with dark pink grevillea planted behind it for added privacy. Other plants adding more color included dark purple, mounding and trailing purple heart, the vertical grass-like yellow kangaroo pool, yellow flowering gold mustoon crop, and red-tapped pork and beans, and purple-flowered Santa Barbara sage. Plant between bavers. This Los Angeles front garden is bursting with colorful succulents and flowers, with pockets of planting added throughout the space to soften the effect of the hardscaping. A pathway leading from the street to the front door is made of flax stone with stuff ground cover plants, in this case silver carpet between the pavers to soften the look. Bosler Earth Design, planted with future growth in mind. I always design for 80% for the planters full growth and space accordingly, says Catherine Bosler. Her main goal was to turn a thirsty green loon into a colorful, cohesive landscape that would save on water usage. The palettes consist of mauve, yellow, greens, burgundy, and hands of orange and blue. Primarily a mix of Australian and South African plants. The garden includes purple fern leaf acacia, pink cushions, kangaroo paws, euphorpias, and blue fescue. A clever mix of succulent garden ideas finished the overall scheme to great effect. Move a classic potted your garden to the front yard. If you're lucky enough to have a large space at the front of your property, there are endless possibilities for your front yard landscaping ideas. And as this tonic property illustrates, there is no reason why your kitchen garden ideas should be restricted to your backyard. Conceived as a traditional potage garden, with even repeated rows, the front yard contains vegetables, fruits, berries, herbs, and cutting flowers like they. Cheerful sunflowers. The garden is completely organic with a large composting area, a small greenhouse and potting sheds that were repurposed from existing building on the site. When you drive into the property toward the house, you pass the garden, says landscape architect John Stab of Stab and Olmsted LLC, it can even be seen from the road. Since a heavy deer population is part of the neighborhood in Barrington's Hills, Illinois, the firm designed exquisite fencing and gates to keep them out, but be a beautiful part of the design. Paths and circles have pavers, brick, and gravel, perfect for mendering among the vines, artichokes, tomatoes, kale, 
and dozens of other fresh produce. There are exquisite touches like fountains surrounded by ornamental grasses, formal planters, benches for taking it all in, and classic garden aging ideas to elegantly highlight the multitude of planting beds. Add the striking containers to a front porch garden. Garden gravel ideas can be a smart choice if you prefer the idea of a low maintenance front yard. The landscaping of this house in Tacoma, Washington, designed by Garden Decks, including rainbow rock with inset rectangular concrete pavers. Architectural tall black planters provide a nice contrast to the white porch and are filled with shade-loving mahonia and the evergreen Japanese aralia. Broad-leafed plants like the aralia paired with architectural planters help to increase their visual impact from the curb or street. Anything smaller or more delicate would get lost. It's important to pay attention to the location of your container gardening ideas and work out whether they are more suited to shade, sun, or a combination of both. For curb appeal, use the same or similar planters to avoid mismatched look. Continuity is also a good rule for the plants that go in the containers. Create a tropical oasis. After an island vacation, everyone wants to recreate the feeling of paradise in their own yards with some eye-catching tropical garden ideas. Unfortunately, most of those exotic plants will only grow indoors, if you're lucky. That's unless you live in South Florida, which is home to a tropical climate. For the front yard landscaping ideas in this Miami plot, landscape architect Matthew Giampetro designed pathways lined with colorful tropicals that lead to a private front patio. Horizontal wood slat fencing and gates provide some necessary garden privacy. In addition to assorted palms which thrive in this environment, Giampetro carefully considered the landscaping around trees, opting for a stunning mix of colorful bromeliads, ornamental grasses, birds of paradise, crotons, Chinese fan palms, philodendrons, and the variegated or shell ginger, among many others. The paved patio features modern outdoor chairs surrounded by beds filled with smooth river rocks, small flowering trees, fragrant flowers, and palms for a secluded tropical home-based gateway. Design a plot with year-round appeal. While the coastal town of Asbury Park, New Jersey is known for its beaches, boardwalk, and Bruce Springsteen, it's also home to a few lakes. The buyers of a rundown lakefront cottage in Asbury Park ask it refugia to give their property a naturalistic look in keeping with the area. The landscape design and the build firm created cedar decking with built-in hot tub ideas to enjoy during all four seasons. The hot top suspends over slope planted with meadow and native grasses that are drought tolerant and attract pollinators. This is an initiative to map and track the progress of restoring ecosystem and building a network of native habitats throughout the Philadelphia area. So far, more than 100 native gardens in the region, most of them residential, work together as part of a larger ecological corridors. In other words, sustainable gardens start at home. Create space for socializing. Where space allows, a large front yard can offer the opportunity to create additional entertaining zones. The homeowners of this home in Arcadia, Arizona hired Lavender Landscape Design Co. of Tampa to design a patio where they could socialize with neighbors. Many aspects of the original yard remain, including the lawn and some of the brick paving, which became a border for newly installed silver travertine modern paving ideas. The patio is open but enclosed by a low iron garden fence and an entry gate. Outdoor heating ideas in the form of rectangular brick veneer fire pit take center stage in the new layout while the existing stone veneer on the home's exterior was replaced with brick veneer to unify the look. A clean and the modern planting palette includes wax leaf, privet, dwarf, yopin holly, winter gem, boxwood, Texas mountain laurel, fruitless olive trees, and several varieties of roses including ladybanks, white iceberg, and burgundy iceberg. 
Swap the loan for low maintenance alternatives. If you're looking for alternatives to grass for a no loan look, there is plenty to inspire in this project's front yard landscaping ideas. The owners of a sweet craft style Bangalow and Birmingham, Alabama's historic forest park wanted a turf free yard that reflected the home's character. Goliath Lee Landscape Architecture reimagined the space with a rectangular dry laid bath of Alabama bluestone up to the porch. In an area that favors traditional loons, boxwoods, and azaleas, Goliath Lee's June G, Wilson chose to use natives and more water wise plants for a rich tapestry of colors and textures. How can I landscape my front yard for cheap? Get creative but not illegal when searching for inexpensive or free elements to beautify your front yard landscaping ideas, like boulders for example. While it's not advised to take them from a natural habitat, park or someone else's yard, big rocks can be found at landscaping suppliers for free through hyper-local sites like Facebook, Marketplace or special interest groups, Nextdoor, OfferUp or Craigslist. Using them for some clever landscaping ideas with rocks can be a great way to quickly add some interest to your plot. Why not consider these other cheap landscaping ideas too? Start with one area like the border of an entry path or a front porch container garden, then branch out as your budget allows. Create paths with big gravel or decomposed granite commonly known as DG, this is usually tamed down and resists weed if installed correctly. Break up a dull front lawn with garden borders and aging materials. For the latter, avoid plastic and opt for a natural material like stone or wood. This creates some interest where you can plant small or low-growing shrubs, ornamental grasses, succulents and flowers. Make sure something is in bloom throughout the year depending upon where you live. Add a tree, making sure it's positioned to frame and not compete with the view of your house from the street. Choose perennials rather than annuals when shopping for plants at your local gardening center. They will last longer and you will be buying fewer plants. If you have lots of front yard, create a patio with a surface of poured concrete, concrete pavers, pea gravel or mulch. Add a few chairs or a settee that complement the architecture style of your home. Don't put a dining table in your front yard unless you think your neighbors would enjoy watching you eat. If you have too much hard escape or soft escape, create balance by adding more of one or the other. It doesn't have to be an even mix. Too many plants can get messy and are hard to maintain. Too much hard escape can look bare and desolate. Many succulents can be grown from cuttings. Ask a friend or neighbor for cuttings from theirs. Don't snap them from public gardens. What plants look good in the front yard? When choosing plants for your front yard landscaping ideas, think about curb appeal. That means viewing your house from the curb, street, or passing by in a car or on foot. There are no sure bed plants that will give you a dazzling yard. However, there are some things to consider when you go plant shopping. Go with natives, which means plants that are indigenous to your region and grow naturally in inhabited areas. Check with your local university or a gardening club or society for suggestions. Start with foundation plants that are evergreens or at least standing throughout most of the seasons. This might be one of two of the best trees for small gardens. Shrubs or ornamental grasses, usually they are planted near the house, walls, fences, paths or hardscape. Foundation plants enhance and sometimes repeat your home's architectural style. For example, unfussy plants with simple lines and sculptural quality like some succulents or subtropicals complement a modern or mid-century modern home, while roses and delicate flowering perennials would look out of space. Set a goal to have something in bloom throughout the year for season. This might take some research, but it is worth the time and effort. 
A lush look can be beautiful, but try breaking up the landscape by incorporating hardscape features, such as entry path from the street or the door, a small patio, stones and boulders, wood fencing, or stone garden walls. Repeat plans for continuity rather than using your front yard as a test site for a vast mix of seedling and non-natives. Also, strive for continuity in form, texture, and color. Even devout gardeners get busy, so look for low maintenance ornamental grasses, succulents, shrubs, and vernials. You can save the dirty work for the backyard. How do you start front yard landscaping from scratch? If you're lucky enough to start building a new yard with a clean slate, consider hiring a garden designer to landscape.